But as y'all can see, I have long coffin notes over here. I have long stiletto over here, and I have medium square over here. So first, I'm gonna start off with the long coffin nails, which I'm gonna get three of these. Well, actually, I need six of these, actually. And okay, move this over here. So the first shape we'll be doing is long coffin. So starting off simple. As you can see, the nails already come in long coffin shape. But the tricky part about this is the nail at the end is actually kind of a little piece that sticks out. So you do need to file it down and then just wipe it like this. And bravo, if you have a long coffin nail shape, just like that. And so I actually ended up switching sides. So I hope this side is a lot more easier for y'all to see. So this is just another long coffin nail. All I'm gonna do is cut the sides a little bit. Make sure you don't go too much in the cuticle area. And then cut the other side. Refrain from cutting too much on one side at once. You want to be able to compare the sides to each other and see which side you need to cut more on, if that makes sense. So I am going to do this side again. And then this side one more. And then just like that, you have a long ballerina nail. It still fits inside my cuticle area. I didn't do too much on there, it still fits. So up next will be medium coffin. Which this I actually got from one more. I will leave it in the description below. It's very sturdy and it hasn't broke yet. So that's a good thing. But with this, you will just cut it. Me, I tend to usually set my fingers up like this. So it's just my middle finger and my index finger. And I, sometimes I bring my index finger a little bit down, a little bit more, and then I'll just chop like that. And after a while, after doing nails, you kind of get a tease to how long you, how long medium coffin is and how short it is. And there you go, have the perfect medium, have the perfect medium coffin nail, just like that. That easy. And next I'll be doing medium ballerina. So like I said just before, I put my middle finger in my index finger, not my index finger, my ring finger. And I do the chop just like that. And just like before with the long coffin, I get my scissors and I go on the sides. But like I said, make sure you don't go too far in the critical area, but you still wanna make sure it's the flawless blend in between. So you may have to cut off an extra piece, but make sure that the cuticle area is still will fit your nail. And sometimes you may not know, is this enough? Like, is this really medium ballerina? So what I would do is I would get your medium coffin nail and then I'll compare the two and if it looks a lot more slimmer in towards going down then you know you have a medium ballerina now next after that i will be doing the short medium i mean the short coffin now which with this like i said before i get my ring my middle finger and my ring finger and i'll put them like this and it depends because everyone has different short versions some people short version is literally the natural nail short version which means it really looks like it's your real nail but mine is pretty much like this now actually i didn't cut far enough so i actually gotta do one more chop and then i'll have it Now this is my short version of personal nails. Like I said, everyone has a different short version, but this is mine. I'm gonna do the same with another nail. So for this one, will be short ballerina. And like I said before, you know, with short ballerina, you have to be a lot more careful because the critical area, you're automatically a lot more closer to it since it's shorter nails, since it's a shorter nail, but it's the same method. You just have to make sure you do not disturb the critical area.
which in my opinion when you're dealing with short nails short ballerina always looks best to me but that's not everyone's opinion it's just my opinion but like i see i will post a picture up there so y'all can see the difference a lot better it's actually the end of the video but if you are like a part two which will include long stiletto extra long stiletto extra long ballerina then make sure you comment down below and let me know